Zoom Team Chat is my favorite tool inside of Zoom. There's a great tool inside of it called the Chat Etiquette Tool that allows you to identify keywords or text patterns or even numbers so you can block them from a user sending them between users as well as organizations, such as profanity words, maybe driver's license and passport numbers. I'm gonna demo it from a user perspective one and then we're gonna set it up in the admin portal too. But first, I wanted to take a quick second and thank UCX USA uh, for coming out with the top 100 unified communication influencers of 2023. Why I'm thanking them is because, for some reason, <laughs> they picked me to be included in this list, which is truly humbling and something I'm super proud of. Obviously, you know the probably the top probably top 10, but if you go all the way down to number 43, you might notice the tattooed nerd. Thanks again, I appreciate it. So I'm in the Zoom team chat client. I've already actually pre-established a profanity filter in my chat etiquette tool. We're gonna to look at that in the next demo, but I wanted to show you what it looks like from a user experience. So I'm speaking with Amy, I'm gonna chat with Amy, and I'm gonna say a profanity word. We're just gonna type one in real quick. Heck, and when I try to launch this word, watch what happens. I get a warning that a policy has been met and I'm not unable to send that message. Let's see how I set that up. Okay, in order to set the chat etiquette policies, you have to go to your Zoom admin portal. And the setting is done right here. In account settings, then you go to team chat, and then you scroll down to the chat etiquette tool. Once you're at the chat etiquette tool, you'll see all the policies you've configured. I've configured three. The one I just showed you, the demo with the keywords, is what we call a no-no word policy. You can name it anything you want. So let's click into it and review how I set it up. I've defined the keywords by hitting uh, edit, and then you can see I've named the policy, no, no word policy. You can name it anything you want and then put a description on there if it's optional. Now you can define the keywords of the policy. I've picked keywords. We're gonna go into regular expression next. I've added three keywords that I uh, determined were no, no words or profanity words. I've actually separated them through commas, and then I've hit save. And once I hit save, it gives me this ability to test it. So now I can test it. I can type in heck and you'll see a check mark saying, hey, you've met that policy. That policy works. You type in this word heck, it's going to hit that policy. Now the next thing I can do is I can choose what to do with that policy if it were to hit it. I can actually block the message, which I showed you before, or I can ask the user to confirm sending of the message to make sure that's really something they want to do. So that's a keyword policy. Let's go into a regular expression policy. I've already got a social security number policy set up. We'll hit edit. Obviously, you know the name of it, SSN policy, and it's a policy to catch keywords, but here's where you define the regular expression. So instead of keyword, I'm gonna drop that menu down, go to regular expression. I am not a regular expression expert. I went on Google and searched for social security numbers, matching regular expression, and boom, I copy and pasted it here. But if you should wanna edit it, you can. Basically, it's the variable that says the first three digits with a, with a hyphen, it's two digits, hyphen, four digits, a, social, a United States social security number pattern. Again, we can test that by doing it right here. So let's test it, three, 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 three. hope that's no one's social security number. And boom, that social security number, regular expression, match the policy, I get a check mark. Now what I wanna do here is, I actually wanna block the message. You probably don't wanna allow that to be sent. I can also do that with credit cards. Once again, I've set up credit cards. I can hit edit. I can really define the policy description. And right here with this regular expression, Again, I went out and copy and pasted all the credit card numbers, Amex, MasterCard, Visa, got a regular expression, and now I can test that as well. So let's just say a Visa card starts with four. So we'll go four, seven, four, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, because it's gotta be 16 digits, and boom, it's matched that policy. So now anytime a user hits a profanity filter, maybe sends a social security card number, you can set up passport uh, numbers, driver's license numbers. I've also set up credit card numbers. So anytime any of those policies are hit within my tenant, it's gonna block that message or maybe ask their user if they wanna review it before sending it on. It's a super cool way to do it. It's really easy and built right in the admin portal with no third-party tools are needed. I am a Zoom distinguished architect. I, I am not a spokesman or a figurehead for Zoom. I just like to talk about cool technology and a lot of times that has to deal with Zoom. Hey, and if you like this video, I do a lot of these on my YouTube channel. Please go to the link above Go to some of my videos, like them, maybe comment on them, maybe even let me know what you want to hear next. Have a great day.